Okay, this is the final video for focus stacking. As you've already seen, the Fujifilm and the Sony cameras require manual intervention at the last step. The Olympus cameras do it for you. So, we've already shot our bracketed images for focusing. Let's merge them all in Photoshop right now. So in Photoshop, I go to File, Scripts, and then Load Files into Stack. So it'll take everything that you've done and put it every image as its own layer. Let me go browse for that directory. In this directory, I'm going to select everything except for the first one. Recall that the first one was, was shot at F22 to show the depth of field. So I'm going to deselect that one and do all the rest. And then it'll take Photoshop perhaps a minute to open every file and put every file into its own layer. Okay, now you got two options here at the bottom of the screen before you hit OK. The first one is attempt to automatically align the source images. Let me tell you why this is important. There is something called focus breathing, and some macro lenses and others have it. And let me demonstrate to you how it works. Uh, here I am with a Minolta 100 millimeter macro lens. It's a great sharp lens. It's on an adapter, of course. But notice that as I zoom in and out, the magnification changes. Less magnified, more magnified. This is called focus breathing. And whenever you want to stack a whole bunch of adjacent images, this is going to be a problem. Photoshop, using that top checkbox, can actually make the correction for you. It'll compile, uh, compare the sizes of each adjacent frame and make adjustments accordingly. That's essential. I hit OK. And then wait another minute. Now that the import process is finished, I'm going to select all the layers in the Layers panel. And then my second function is Edit Auto Blend Layers, dot, dot, dot. Now here you've got two choices. You can blend the images as a panorama. That's not what we're doing. The second option is stack images, one on top of the other. That's what we're doing. Seamless tones and colors? Yeah, sure, why not? Content aware filled, transparent areas, probably won't need it, but can't hurt. Then you hit OK, and then you walk around the block a little bit. Anybody know any jokes? So what the action has done is it created a top layer, which is a merging of all the layers below it, just the sharp parts. Let's have a look. Let me just zoom into 100%. So let's compare that with the image that I shot at F22. That would be this first one here. Let's zoom into 100% again. Yeah, the focus stack version is a whole lot better. So that's it. If you're in the position of having to put together an online catalog of small items, photographs, you have to do this hundreds of times a day, you might want to think about investing in the Olympus. And regardless of which camera you have, don't forget that Freeman Archives sells the best-selling books on Sony, Fujifilm, and Olympus mirrorless cameras. Go to FreemanArchives.com and check them out. Thanks so much for watching.